G'day, g'day. Welcome back, Eagle Eye here. We just dropped back into uh, the 4800 stable. It's going to run a, um, a fresh game. Um, I've run through a few beginner's tips um, and maybe some settings. Uh, that being said, we'll just go to the options uh, for a minute. And um, I would just suggest turning off the tutorial. Um, turn that off. Um, it just can be just a pain. So um, it, it prompts you to make different things um, as, you're, as you first start out and um, isn't really necessary. It's just a prompt that's in the way. Um, so I'll turn that off. I'm, I'm in Celsius because I'm in Australia. And we work in Celsius, so you might want to set that up to whatever to whatever you're on. Um, input oh, input. Um, I've changed um, just a couple of things. I've changed my uh, drop item to T, and my middle mouse the middle mouse button, the, as in the button under the scroll wheel, um, to drop my items because I find that the Q key. Um, I will drop items by mistake um, and then I'll lose them. I've also changed the sprint key which I think was the left shift key because that's just too hard to get to when you're trying to run so I'll put it over on, on the G G for go key. Um, graphics wise I've got mine set to uh, put it on two frames um, if people are flat out I have a um, a high system so my machine can cope with it uh, I'll let motion blur off because I get seasick in real life so I t that, that tends to make me go a bit wonky uh, and anti-aliasing make sure that it's uh, either on uh, off FX SM but not T because T has a little error with it that um, allows or oh, that will result in a big black bloom engulfing your map and then you won't be able to see what you're doing um, adjust these per your card and system. Um, I right, said so this is a uh, an i7 machine, Windows 7, 64-bit um, uh, with a 1080 Ti card with 11 gig of RAM on on that, uh, and I have 16 gig of system RAM, so this is pretty capable and will cope with all this stuff. I've also turned off the Steam overlay, um, which was suggested by one of the uh, devs, but. To me, that makes no difference whether that's on or off. Um, my machine will work okay anyway. And audio, just adjust that to whatever you like. I've turned down the music volume temporarily while I talk because it can get a bit noisy otherwise. Um, I'll turn that back up a little bit though, depending on if I get any storms or not. And then just apply that and go back. Um, if we go to the cartographer, we'll be able to see what the current map is. Um, you'll support. So at the moment I have a base on this island, but we're going to restart anyway, so um, to create a new world, did you just hit, well actually we'll just go back, I can carry on my game that's here, if I've got a new game, I'll get a choice of um, um, starting a new one, yes or no, and that will just usually overwrite the existing map, but if we go to cartographer, we can actually choose, this is where we can place up, place up another island um, which I'll just cover that quickly these are just some random islands I've got so for instance if I wanted to um, put one of them on there I'll just drag it over so um, these are just random islands there's actually empty islands I created in the uh, editor there's nothing on them just an empty island so that means they'll, they'll auto generate the contents so if I wanted to replace my spawn island, I can do that at the moment because my my saves over here. So I could do um what's a nice big random island. Actually we'll just do that one there. You can drag it over here, drop it on there, and then hit apply. And that's now wiped out any base that I had on that island to begin with. So if I go a new game now, I'll spawn with that island. And I'll spawn just off the coast down here. Uh, if you hover over it, it'll tell you that um, uh, that's version 1 of a random map. Um, I do have a few 
I've got Eagle's Nest, which is my second hideaway, and there's Eagle's Island, which is um, one you'll see in the other videos. So I could put that on there if I wanted to, and replace that one, and that's a big island with everything already on it. So that's a bit of a cheat island, but um, we're not going to do that. So if we go create a new world, it'll give a random number. Now these series of numbers change depending on... Um, well, the actual series changes every time that you restart the game. So at the moment it's falling with uh, 219 numbers. So I can go OK and it'll change that the map, which is there. If I go crack new world again, new world again, it's, it's, it's still a 219 number. If I leave the game and come back into it, that might be something like 743 or 147 or whatever it happens to be. But that will change next time you... Um, you um, um, Reboot the gun. This one, looks, this one looks interesting. It's got uh, a few, few big islands on it. Um, we'll spawn just here off the coast. So we'll, we'll basically spawn just below that little bit of um, uh, that little bit of an outbreak there. So if there's the one you want, then we can choose back. Uh, now we have to have a new game. We can't carry on anymore. So we press new game, and we'll spawn into the game. Well, we'll spawn into the into the aircraft. I'm going to assume that you've um, all done this before. Once the plane crashes, you swim to the surface. I'm just going to escape out of that uh, whenever I can and go straight to the raft. Now, the first thing I do when I I spawn is um, I'll check I'll check my watch. And we're in July, so straight away, I'm actually going to quit out of this one because July is the hot season. July, August, September, um, and we're going to restart that one and try again. Reason being is because that's the hot season, and you'll be overcome with your heat straight away. You don't want that at the beginning of the game. So, um, I'll, I won't play a game where I start in July, August, September, or in fact June, July, August, September. I prefer someone like November, December, January, where we're going to have um, uh, no trouble with heat, and, and heat stroke and sunburn. Okay, we'll do that again. Same island. Oops. F. April. May. June. Okay, I've got a fair bit of time here now. Medium UV, as you can see. Straight away we are drifting. There's a shark here already. We're going to grab this paddle from the clip. And we're just going to... Seeing we're here by this wreck, we're just going to go and check it out. So you can see straight away we've got some balls there already. Put the uh, anchor out. Oops. Put the anchor out. This is a comfort out, why not? Hang on. It's um come a bit closer. And we'll try that again. Okay, it's out over there. Okay, we're gonna jump over onto here. Oh, we missed. If you buy the yellow bar here, just hold the space bar down and you'll climb up. Tab key to open up the crate. E to pick it up. We've got nothing to cut them free so they can stay where they are. Is that shark gone? He's still around somewhere. There's another wreck just over there as well. Okay. Oops. Okay. E key to open the door. Hop inside. Tab key. There's a tarp. Tab key. Engine part. And there's no cabinet there. So we'll get back up on this straight away. Oops. Space bar. Get back on. Now we don't need to pull this back in again. The moment we start to paddle, it'll come back in by itself. So we'll do that. We're gonna have a quick, quick, quick look what's out here. There's a shark here. He hasn't tried to attack us yet. Oh, he has now, so. 
that means we're not going to worry about that wreck right now because he's pretty vicious. So we're going to um, make our way back over here. Okay, look at the boat and press the E key to stand up and then you can paddle clip, press E. Ah, okay. Look down. Press the paddle clip, E, and get. Now you can, with the right mouse button, you can drag this up onto the beach as the crab just there. Whoops. And let's put it up on the rocks. Out the way. For the brand new people, there's um, they will they will nip you. Uh, there's a little survival pack here in the raft. There's a rock there. I'll pick up that rock. Um, and you can press tab to check what's in there. There'll be always be three rations, one compass and one roll of tape. Okay, let's do a quick look around the island. We may not stay here very long. Um, first of all, with the rock in my hand, we'll, we shall create a, uh, um, a stone tool. So just hold down your C key for a quick craft and then point to it with your mouse and let go of the C key while it's highlighted see that while it's highlighted let go of the C key and now we've created one and it's in our backpack so press the tab key there it is just there now it's in our hand um, not much of a beach here so we'll come around here there's a crab just here so if we use our stone tool we can knock him on the head you can pick him up and drag him with your right mouse button or you can put him in your backpack by pressing the uh, okay there's another rock here we're just going to um, put this stuff down and um, another rock there something, there it is okay we'll leave this in our hand there's another rock over here there's a tarp, rock, crab. Now watch out when you walk out here. Some things are poisonous and they will hurt you. Okay, there's a, a box just here. Tab key to see what's inside it. Engine parts, you need to pick it up. We'll bring that back. another boat just out there you can see the mast there's a wreck there and a wreck there there's a wreck over there. there's one wreck there okay we'll grab some of this stuff up we'll grab some crabs uh, this thing is poisonous so when you go out to the ocean make sure you don't step on one of those because um, straight away you'll be poisoned and that is not a good idea Grab some of this basic stuff first. We're just going to grab everything we can and then we'll weigh up whether we're going to stay here for a night or whether we're going to um, go elsewhere. We need a couple of sticks straight up. Another crabby over here. Uh, if, we, if we hold that tab key down, you can fit four items per slot except with. Young Palms, where you can fit 24 on a slot. You'll need four of those to make a, uh, a lashing. There's another wreck out here. I don't know if these are poisonous or not. I haven't had a look to find out or not. Okay, another wreck just here. You can see that, that bubbling there? That's what you can see out in the water. So you can tell where, this, where, where the wrecks are. Oops. Back up again. So we can get to that without okay tab key uh lashing battery you know let's get to a spot where we can pick that up you know we're, we're floating at the moment hang on there we go pick that up once you get in the middle yet we've got a 
an al aloe vera. What is it? Pretty full already, I think. Oh, that's the auto walk. Just press the W key again to stop that. Okay, tab key, I've got. I'm going to pick up two more crabs. Oh, so they will nip you and give you a, a slight health bump, but. Um, can pick up. No more sticks. Pick up a few of those. I think the rocks are full. No, they got another rock. So what I can do now is um, we just take this stuff back to our little camp spot. Got two rocks ahead of us. We won't pick up that bit of tin yet because we can't actually pick it up. We've got no room left. And there's two more crabs down here. I can pick up one of those. Come here. We'll pick up that one. And we'll white drags that one up to here for now. Okay, I'm running around here as you can see. Okay, I'll put some of this stuff down. these crabs just here in the one pile. I'll put the stones in one pile. Put the sticks in the pile. Uh, two tarps, there's one in a box as well we picked up. Okay. Uh, one of these boxes had a, uh, a lashing in it. Okay, so then with the lashing in my hand and a um, stone tool, I'll make an axe. So hold down the C key. Um, it hasn't shown up in there. So uh, what's in an axe? Just tap the C key once to bring up the menu. Um, so I need I need two stone tools for an axe. So we'll create another stone tool. Hold down the C key. Let it go. Now if I hold the C key down now, we should get a choice for an axe. Yeah, the one just there. Let go on it while it's white. And then tab key. Put it back in your hand. Uh, what is it on my hand for a minute? We're just going to go around and... Uh yep, wrong thing. There's a bit of wood in there, we can see too. A bit of wood. We're just going to go around now and pick up some of this stuff. Uh, if you get six fibrous leaves from these. You don't have to pick them all up, but I'm going to pick them up for now. Um, where'd you go? In there. Is that all of them? I think it was six. Some fruit there, but I don't pick that yet. So I can pick up six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another fruit tree there. So there's a, two kinds of fruit trees. There's this uh, koala thingy, and this one, over, this one over here. Or is it? It's a kira fruit or kara fruit. In here, we will hopefully find some potatoes as well. We can take them with us when we change islands, or if we're going to stay here. I can't see any, any mineable rocks anywhere. Come and grab this and put it in our pot. I'll grab that tree over here. Um, just gonna grab any old stick at the moment. Okay, let's look back around here again. Pretty nosy. There's a bit of tin around here we saw before. We'll grab this stick. Just look for any obvious um, young palms. I'll grab that now. And I can grab. Grab this as well. Just have a look out here on this reef type thing. I don't know if they're poisonous or not either, I've got no idea. Okay. 
Okay, we've been to that wreck there, but there's one out there we haven't been to. It's starting to get late in the afternoon. Not really important, we do have food in our raft. And water. That ration will give us water as well. So, we'll just finish grabbing these. There'll be six of these. One, two, three. Now, if they fall in the bushes and you can't see them, four, five, six, um, then you can actually make your lashing right here and it'll pick up the ones on the ground first. So, if they drop in there and you've got two in your hand, um, you should still be able to make, make the lashing and it will draw them out of the... It'll draw them out of those bushes because it will always use the ones on the ground first. Okay, I can't see any potatoes going anywhere yet. Okay, we're going to need a palm tree um, for the leaves. Oh, there's some, there's some potatoes there. So I'm going to cut this tree down because we need the we need the uh, the palm leaves to make a shelter. Which is a safe point. We'll just grab that term. Oh, we can't. Okay, right click and drag it. So far, I've got no light. Okay, we'll put. I'll drag it over here at the one minute. And that one there. While we're here, we're going to grab that one, and that one. See, it's falling into the bushes. Someone you can see them. If you can't see them, then bring over three of these in your hand and make your make your um your lashing right there. It will draw it out of the bush. Down over here. There's another bit of wood there. We'll probably stay a bit because we've got some wrecks to search. There's at least one there. One out over there, you can see the two of it. That's two. One over there is three, and one over there we saw before where the other shark was. It's five. So. Now I might have a bit of lag here. I'm capturing uh, as I play, so. I'm catching at 60 frames as I play, so it may lag a little bit. Potatoes can be on the ground here. Now these wild lavas aren't used, so don't bother picking them. See, wild lava. Now, um, yeah. okay, we can make a few of these. Hold down the hold down the the, the C key. Make some mashings. I'll make three. I'll make four for now. I'll just drop them on the ground. And that. I'm going to drop on the ground as well. And grab our axe. Go and grab this tree. If you want to, you can right jump and you can right click and drag the tree back over here. Jump again. And we can cut the palm bunch off. That's now off. You can you just saw it drop. But there's the wood. This can go in your inventory if you want. If you press if you press the E key, you can pick it up. But in the backpack, it hasn't got an icon, so it's just a question mark. So grab that, and put it back on the ground, and uh, chop it up. It'll give us five palm leaves. Okay, one, two, three. Four and five. Um, we can see some sticks, and then lashing yourself. Hold down the C key. Uh, too many things to make. Hold down the C key, and there's an option to make a shoulder. When it's white like that, let go, and there's your up. Now you can just put this wherever you want. Where it's not red, we'll put it up here. And now we'll make. Uh, we'll, we'll get some water going, at which we need a lashing. And we've got a coconut here, so we'll grab a lashing, coconut, hold down the C key, 
we'll get the coconut flask uh, and then we'll need another lashing uh, a tarp we've got a palm pond in our hands and rocks on the ground so if we press the C key down we should not too many things to make so it it looks at what you're holding in your hands and decides what you can make so there's probably too many things in our hands there we go depending on what way you look is what I can see so it can't see all the other crap now so it it adds up what we can make with what's on the ground and what's in our hands so hold down the C key water still I'll put that over here as well you can rotate that with the Q or the E key drop it there now there's two parts to these steels um, bottom half top half bottom half for adding adding um, fibers or more palm leaves we've got some fibers here so we're just going to grab three of these fibers and add them to the bottom and of course that's this is actually a solar steel because the heat of course the, the heat, heat comes down evaporates the moisture in the leaves condensates on the tarp drops into the coconut um, in real in real life these are actually buried in the ground you usually make them in a hole um, which intensifies the heat uh, okay so now I have a save point which is here EQ to, to save all sleep and the time is now I passed okay so what, what we'll do quickly is we'll make a um, a knife so we'll craft a stone tool um, we'll drag one of them over here a uh, stone tool, a stick and uh, a lashing hold the stick here down, there's a knife now we can cut these up if we want to but we will also make a uh, um, a fire I'm going to need some more sticks for some wood there, that's alright so we're going to craft um, a campfire we'll put, put it out over here and then we'll have three stones and we'll craft a fire pit um, we're gonna need some more wood so we'll cut this is a this is about this is four pieces you can see in there one two three four so we should have cut the cut the log off and then cut the log up there's that that's just release it you saw it drop um, Uh, depending on what axe you've got is how many how many chops it takes just dropped drag it into the pile if you want and line it up you can chop it up there okay we need it three for a uh, hold on the C key and make a smoker it's going to be rotated so we're going to rotate it towards us oops bring it up then we need a uh, kindling put that next to it uh, we'll grab we'll cut up five of these oops e key one two Three, four, and five. That drip sound was the sound of the steel. If we go over here to the steel, we'll find that it's dripping up. So there's two in the top, and there's two in the bottom. Okay, we're going to put them in our hand. Look at the top of the steel. Press the E key. Yeah, there's, you can't see them very well, but there's five pieces on top of it. There's now five pieces on that, uh, on the hanger there. Grab your kindling, E key, and then left mouse button six times in quick succession to light the fire. And if you stop part way through that six, you might have to start again. Okay, drop this down next to it. They're now cooking. Uh, I'll leave that here um, 
Was there? We'll pick some of the stuff here. We'll just put it in a pile. So it's just stuff all you take with us. We don't have a torch on it yet. There's a wreck out there. Another wreck there. We just see the pin of it. Okay. It's right past the bedtime. I used to go to bed by 10, uh, 9.30. So uh, I'm going to call this episode quits. And um, I'll do a save. And I'll come back in the next episode. And we'll carry on from where we are. So cheers for now. Thanks for watching.